What's up YouTube, Jabber Tech here. Today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about why the Huawei Watch 2 might be your best choice if you want a classy looking smartwatch, but you're also into fitness, or you just wanna see those fitness stats that all of us nerds, including myself, really enjoy looking at. And if you haven't seen my full review on the watch, definitely check it out. There'll be a link in the description below, as well as a card that popped up. And as always, follow me out on social media, subscribe, thumbs up, like, leave me some comments if you like this video. So let's just talk a little bit about why the Huawei Watch 2 watch with its built-in first beat technology software is probably the best fitness watch if you also want a classy looking watch. Of course, we're excluding the triathlon watches, so your Phoenixes by Garmin and whatnot. We're just talking about an overall smartwatch that also has bonus fitness features built right in. And why that's special is because the Garmins and the Polars actually use this software as well. And they give you a lot of stats, especially for those of you that are into fitness or training for marathons or just want to know more about what your overall exercise is doing for you. And what the Huawei Watch 2 will do for you is way more advanced than what any other Android Wear currently can do for you, or even whatever Samsung's Tizen watches can do for you as well, because of the software that's built into the watch. And what it does tell you, it shows you your VO2 max fitness level. So it definitely tells you what your true fitness level is and gives you some personalized guidance. Of course, it tells you your calories burned, but then it also tells you what your training effect is, and it's the aerobic training effect. So it actually tells you exactly what your training did for you, if it helped, if it didn't. And that's what's really cool about it is it'll tell you if your workout was actually beneficial to you or if it really had no impact or if you're overly training and you probably should take a little break. And the best thing about that as well, it will tell you what it suggests your recovery time should be before you do the same exercise or another strenuous exercise, just so that you're getting the most out of your workouts. First, what I'm going to show you is what you get from most of your Android Wear watches. And it's basically the same for your Tizen watches. And I'll show you that comparison too. Most of your Android Wear watches are only using the Google Fit app. So this is what you're presented with. So I set this to do a walk the other day and it'll show me my active time, total time, distance, average pace, your steps and of course your calories. And then you get a little graph about your pace and whatnot. Just to show you, this is what you get from Sam Samsung Health, but Samsung Health will also put in the elevation here, the total ascent, total descent, and your elevation gain. But for me, I'm more interested in what impact that workout did for my overall health and overall fitness. When I say that this Huawei watch is awesome, not only is that graphic really cool, but just look how much information it shows you right on the watch itself as well. Scrolling down, you'll see the calories that I burnt. You'll also see the distance. You'll see the amount of feet that I climbed and my resting heart rate for this workout period. Moving on, you can see that this is today's steps. There's a graph that'll show you over the last seven days what you've done. And then you'll see that today I was moderate to high intensity for 61 minutes today. Again, it shows you I stood up five times. And then it shows you the graph over the past seven days. It shows you your heart rate graph over the last six hours. My latest heart rate was 69. Highest was 127. Lowest was 64. And then this is where the fun begins. You'll see that it'll map out exactly how much your workout did for you. So I was not really working out in extreme fashion. It wasn't an anaerobic or an aerobic. About seven minutes of my activity today was for fat burning, 22 minutes was warm up. And again, I really can't wait to see how this stacks up when I start running. And I definitely will have some videos on that. But I can already say if you're a runner with this first beat technologies built in, this is definitely gonna help your workout. So then you'll see a graph of where you actually walked or you biked or you ran or whatever. It shows you the duration, your average pace on the bottom. My average heart rate was 110, maximum 127. So you'll see that the color of the chart for your heartbeat actually 
represents the color down here. So each color is a different representation for extreme anaerobic, aerobic, fat burning and warm up. And then again, your steps per minute, it shows you your average. Mine was 110 and your maximum is 126. More details upon more details with this watch. So we're used to seeing this duration, average pace, calories, average speed, average heart rate, average steps, steps. But here's something new that you don't really see, and that's your stride length. And then on the bottom underneath, it shows you your training results. So for me, basically, it's a fitness maintained exercise that I did today. And my recovery time should be about 13 hours. This first beat technology really just combines everything, all the data from the watch, everything that it can get from the sensors, and it gives you like a one word answer. So I really like that. It jumbles everything together, gets everything together nicely and just spits it out at you and says, boom, this is what your exercise did for you. So overall guys, just to wrap this up quickly, the Huawei Watch 2 app, especially the health app, gives you so much more information. And now that it's warming up and I will be going for some runs, I will definitely do some more follow-up videos on how the health is and how running is with the Huawei Watch 2. Because for a lot of us, it is kind of important. You don't wanna overly train, especially if you're training for a marathon or whatnot. For those of you that were on the fence about a smartwatch or for those of you that want a fitness band but want something a little bit more enticing than say a fitbit this should definitely be what you should check out and again check out my full review on it if you have any questions about it i definitely will answer any questions so leave me some comments below and i'll catch you guys next time